Hi, it's Megan. Um, if you watched a bunch of my videos, you know, first of all, I love lipstick probably too much. Next of all, I really love the Etude House lipsticks. I think that for the price point, they are just some of the best lipsticks you can get. And even not for the price point, they are some of the best lipsticks you can get. I'm just a huge fan. But what I haven't done very many videos for, I think I've only done one, is for the formula Dear My Wish. So I have done mostly Dear My Blooming, but I haven't, or yeah, but I haven't done Dare My Wish. So I have two, and these are on the Essential Beauty website just because I love these shades so much. And it's a smaller line than the regular Etude House lipstick line, which is like, I don't know, probably 50 shades or more. This one has maybe 10 or 12, maybe 20 at the most. Because, um, you know, they're always changing and adding new ones and all that, so I don't have the exact numbers right now. So I have BE101, which is on my lips right now, and I have... RD301. And so these are kind of different ends of the spectrum. This one's kind of a more natural, lighter look, and then the other one is obviously a red. So you got your cute little pink box. Then you get this is a longer, thinner tube than the regular lipsticks. And it comes out like this. And it's a little bit shinier and feels a little bit thinner and more balm-like on than the regular Dear My Blooming lips. So if you know those, they're already a little bit kind of a thinner formula feel on and they already have a lot of shine. This is just a little bit more that way. So this right here, so BE is basically standing for beige and it's supposed to be kind of a neutral, everyday natural. You're gonna see in this video, the sun has been shifting all over the place today, getting really bright and then getting less bright and so it's hard to get the lighting right on the videos today um, but I adore this shade I just I think it's so great it's I would say it's a petal pink mixed with a nude so you get some color you get a touch of brown a touch of nude, nude a touch of pink it's not bright it's just a great doesn't wash you out everyday kind of a look and I also am always on the lookout for pink based nudes just because with certain looks that I'm doing or with certain people's complexions, the peachy ones, the brown ones can really just not work. And I find like the pink ones are harder to find. So I love this shade. I think it's really great. It doesn't bleed at all. It doesn't crease. It doesn't um, wear unevenly. It wears about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit longer, almost two hours, which for a light lipstick is a long time on me. So I really, really like this one. And then I'm going to change this on camera so you can see how these apply. The next one is the RD301. Again, and by the way, this little bow you can use as a ring, which I'm not going to try to break it off on camera, but you can take it off and use it as a ring. So there we go, the red. And this is just a really lovely neutral to slightly cool red. A little bit vibrant but not too vibrant. It's got a little bit of a sheer feel and that's kind of how I feel with a lot of the Etude House formulas and lipsticks. They are so rich, richly pigmented but they have almost a sheer look to them and so they pick up a little bit. These, these pick up a little bit of your natural lip color which in my opinion always makes the lipstick look a little bit more flattering because it's kind of working with your own coloring. So with this I see a touch of a blue undertone a touch of a pink undertone, just a touch, but it's almost a neutral red. I'm gonna take this off. And with a red, I want a smaller, smaller mirror because otherwise I can get it everywhere, which I've done before on camera. It's very embarrassing. It's even worse when people start commenting. I actually prefer this one with a red pencil under it just because it is a little bit of a softer formula and I find it easier to apply perfectly if I have a pencil but I don't need a pencil like most of the time I'm actually quite frankly too lazy to find a pencil that matches and yeah I know I should use a sheer one and I do sometimes one of those like Urban Decay Ozone's but really honestly I don't so uh I just I I'm just looking at it here. I'm like, God, it is such a pretty color. It is so, so pretty. I just love it. Uh, it's just got a light, balmy, gorgeous, 
vibrant, pigmented, almost sheer look to it. It's just such a pretty, oh gosh, it's so pretty. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. I would love to hear your thoughts, comments, suggestions. Um, if there are other colors that you recommend of this line, I would love to hear it. And uh, I'm going to wear this. This is just so pretty. Anyway, I love both of these. I just got so excited by them. So please subscribe on YouTube, and it does help me a lot, and happy holidays. Thanks for watching.